What are those? Well, where are those though? Dude, those are the widest spaces I've ever seen in my life. They're pretty, pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> we just replaced that fender. <laughs> Brian, what are we doing today? Uh, well, when I bought the WRX, it came with a box of random goodies. This WRX? Yeah. Cool. What type of goodies? One of those goodies was some spacers, which are huge. Holy moly. I didn't think I would ever use them for anything. Yeah, we don't like spacers normally. <laughs> this is crazy. And they, they are two inch spacers. It's a full two inches. Yeah. That's absolute insanity. And there's no way these will fit on this WRX. I don't even know why the guy had them. I think he had stock wheels. So oh. Maybe he was trying to poke those out a little bit. But... Oh, that's a terrible idea. Yeah. So, so but... what are what are we doing? I figured I'll just throw them on the uh, Monster Subie and see what it looks like. Monster Subie. Yeah. So. Somebody asked about this car. They were like, where was this at H2OI? And we're like, well, I mean, Ryan's one driver. I'm one driver. Yeah. It's like we could have taken all the cars, but multiplicity. Yeah. Clearly the Mazda was the winner. Yeah. If you haven't had a chance to check out the Mazda yet, definitely check out our last video right up here. <laughs> Dude, that was getting all the attention. Oh yeah. It's freaking awesome. So we're gonna be working on this guy. And so we're gonna be putting some fat spaces on here, making it go super wide, yeah? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna ride interesting. <laughs> Cool. Oh yeah. Now we'll take it for a ride and uh, see how it all uh, works out. Yep. Cool. It's like already so hot. Is this stand even high enough? Snap on going to throw it in there. All right, so the idea is that these bolts right here are gonna go through and then actually get locked on. Then here, you can see how the threads are there. And then we're gonna be changing over to these bolts and then these bolts are gonna be actually what's connected to the wheel. Separating the wheel from the hub like this puts a lot more pressure on the bearings and everything that's going on back here, which keep it rotating. And that's why we normally don't use these at all. Like we don't recommend spacers, even though you know we tell you how to flush out Flitman and stuff like that. We don't use them on any of our cars. Not this big anyway. Uh, we don't use them on any of our cars. This big is irrational. Hopefully with not, this. Not leaving them on there, that's for sure. You know, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> if we were to be keeping these on longer, we would lock tight these ones that go in here for sure. You just want to make sure that this is not going to come loose because the worst thing in the world that could happen is your wheel falls off when you're going down the highway. That's pretty bad. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm just using stock lug nuts or whatever. The ones I had on there. And especially since you see here this center hole is way bigger than my hub circumference so. Oh yeah, shoot. Definitely not leaving these on. If we were gonna rock these for any extended period of time, we'd need centric rings and uh, we would just not do it. <laughs> if you don't mind spending money on wheel bearings every uh, every year. Oh yeah, you know, if you wanna replace them at least once a year, <laughs> or you could just take that money and add it into whatever budget you have for wheels and get the right ones. <laughs> That's that, round you. Nice. Yes. We get questions all the time on what wheels these are. What are these? I believe they came off of a, like the late 90s Legacy Outbacks. Okay. Cool. They do say Subaru right there in the yeah, center. They're, they're stock Subaru wheels. Yeah. I'm mm. sure there are other models too. NASCAR. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Yeah, dude, that's like Jeeps do this. Yeah, it looks a lot better. I like it. All day long, Jeeps will do this. What? This, uh. I, I, wish, I wish I didn't mind spending money on wheel bearings. Yeah, right? No, um. That's gonna look sweet. 
That does look really mean. Cool, man. So let's uh, do, do the rest of them and then we'll show you guys what it's like. Yeah. Oh, this car gets some abuse, that's for sure. It's like, I just want to be stopped. Lowered it, lifted it. Five different wheels on it. My next car, I'll be able to <laughs> All right, one side down. One side down. And just gonna ju show you comparison. Looks well, way more monsters. Yeah, man. Just wanna show how much it is poking out. It's hard to see when you're. Whoa. Cool. Look at this clearance. That's what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. That looks aggressive, man. All right, so, and what it looks like on the other side, kind of tucked. Can't even see the wheels. All right, tucked versus poking in the front. That makes it huge. Super huge. I'm just like showing, I can't even, it's yeah, not it even poking. It looks poke. like a monster truck, man. Dude, Monster Subi became Monster Subi. Brian's already taking pictures. <laughs> Looking awesome. Damn right. Dude, man, that does look aggressive. That looks mean, monster. Let's do the other side. Yeah, let's knock out the other side and uh, whew, see how this thing rides though. That'll be interesting. is some monster fitment. And if you made it this far, you liked the video, so make sure to smash that like button down below. Make sure you subscribe and share with all of your friends. We've got lots more content coming up. And if you've got any ideas, let us know down in the comments below. We answer all of them, and we even do diagnoses and all sorts of things. So hit us up down below. Stay awesome. <laughs> awesome work, man. Woo! <laughs> Let's go for a drive. Yeah. Cool. It looks like stanced out now. <laughs> Super stanced. With that, I can actually see the wheel. Crazy. <laughs> I'm not used to being in a car so high. Yeah, all right. I guess we do rub. Uh, yeah, that sounded like it caught. <laughs> what is it rubbing on? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, there's no way you can go any further than that. Ah. Oh. I mean, ah, uh, yeah, it's pulling the whole thing in. All right, well. That's the answer. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, that was the answer. We made it far. Um. <laughs> Oof. I mean, we just replaced that fender. <laughs> we just. If we really wanted to, we could totally set it up like this for like, while we're in the parking lot at an event. And then take it all apart. So, if you wanna go lifted with big tires that are spaced out, you need to cut your fenders. Yep, yep. That'll solve all your problems. Yeah, it's either that or, you know, I mean, we could've, we could've went a little bit smaller with the wheels, but. Yeah, that too. The wheels and the tire fitment. Yeah. Oh well.
That's the answer to how they ride though. Yep. Yep. <laughs> cool. Thanks for watching this episode of Mills Garage. Make sure to like and comment below, and share the video, and we'll see you next time. All the clouds in the world and we've got the sun. Just like one little clear spot. Yeah. Alright, it should be alright. Oh yeah, man. Standing back looking at it.